Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Common, and we are playing some more RimWorld, continuing with our colony. I forgot to save it after the last episode, which I like to save just in case, like, uh, the audio doesn't get saved, which, uh, annoying, annoying, annoying. Anyways, last episode, we ended up killing a bunch of scythers right there at the end, which, I'm trying to remember, what are these guys going to give us when you kill them? He's just hauling it. What's the smelting? Uh, wait, refining. That's actually not the right one. Where do we smelt the mechanoids? I thought that was there. Oh, shred mechanoids. Never mind. Hi. Oh, Strict's actually doing it. Oh, uh, hi. Uh, no, do your own thing. Strict, go back to doing that. Yeah, I just wanted to see what we got. We just got steel off of it. No components? Really? Interesting. I thought we'd get components off them. Maybe that's just the higher level ones. Well, that sucks. It's fine. Just annoying more than anything, but still. So those marble traps don't do a lot of damage to those guys, just apparently. Um, So I put someone on mining, so hopefully they will get us a couple more. I mean, if we don't have more traps, <laughs> they're good against people. But in the scheme of things, we have so many guns right now, it's not as useful. Uh, I do want to go ahead and build... Yeah, if you have the time and energy and the materials, just build them all. So really, the only thing I care about at this point is the fabrication bench. Which is still tempted to build two, but I don't think we're going to, mostly because I don't really have a spot for it. So, I mean, I could put it there, but it's still close to the door, and then it's just like, eh. I mean, I can move you up here, but it's just like, blah. And then, the impressiveness of the room will disappear just ever so slightly. Time around, you did get healed, right? You're not still going to die? Okay. You didn't lose anything either, right? You just got cut. Yeah, she just got stabbed. Which is pretty impressive. Because, like, she had... Um... Okay, I guess she's not wearing any uh, uh, armor. But still, she's got the armor skin gland. Which gives her 52% against sharp. So, the fact that she still got pretty hard stab is impressive now i'm actually wondering go go eat like don't sit there and just starve buddy go eat jeffette can i have someone like feed you real quick i mean i assume he's gonna go eat Like, there's grass everywhere. Yes, 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 yes. There you go. There you go. Oh, she's pregnant, too. Interesting. Okay, she's eating. She's eating. So they're actually going to eat through this grass, it looks like, pretty quickly. Huh. That's fine. Did our people get their hat back, whoever we took it off with? Yeah, apparently. So that's fine. Okay good there we would like to see stork is butchering that's probably fine and then you're cooking it wait is stork my fabrication every time i always forget this uh that is gonna be smithing which is strick not stork strick is sleeping okay that's fine I just want someone to be working on the fabrication bench. Bulk goods trader. Oh my god. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. So, uh, that's going to be Odette. Oh, wait, wait. What? It's a local caravan. Uh, never mind. Uh, okay. I thought it was a ship for some reason. Uh, unfortunately, since it's not a ship, they're probably not going to have as much crap for what it's worth. But that's fine. So, we'll wait for them to get inside. Please don't trigger a trap and then, you know, get pissy at me. All right, Odette, go ahead and we don't have Le uh, Odette select anyways. Go talk to Leopard, please. I don't know where they're going. I'm not entirely sure where they're going right now. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Can't trade with you over there. So we could send them our sheep. We could also sell off some puppies, maybe some bison. Probably not a bad idea. Do they have anything major? They have a cow. We could get some milk. We could sell them the sheep and buy cow instead. Don't actually hate that idea. So that's 300, 450. 
This is six something. Because the cow, A, you can harvest for meat, and they're really good with meat, but then you also get the milk. The sheep, I don't think you get, you don't get milk from sheep, right? Twenty-seven leather pack animal race immunity hunger rate diet yellowish wool and medium-sized horn. Yeah, interesting. I think we are going to do that. Um, let's see. What else do they have to buy? Human meat. Ooh, yeah. We could buy some meat from them. Some potatoes. I actually think we're probably going to buy some potatoes from them. And then they have some fur and stuff we don't really need. Don't need herbal medicine. Uh, they have wood we don't really need. Muffalo wood parka. Don't need any clothing. I mean, we got so much stuff to sell them. So, yeah. Give me the cows. Thank you. They're 15. What's their age? 22. So they got seven years in them, so they're fine. And then I'm going to sell you my sheep, because, like, forget the sheep. Okay. Then we're just here to make as much money off of you as possible. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and buy all your potatoes as well. Um, rat meat, too? Yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, they didn't have any advanced components. No, no. Okay, so then with that, let's sell off some of our crap. Uh, so travel wear, yes, yes. I mean, just sell off all of this stuff here. Uh, cloth, tribal wear. I mean, we're never going to wear tribal wear, so. Cloth jacket, guinea pig, jacket, parka, turk. So, awful and poor, definitely. Normal, normal. War veil. Oh, that's theirs. Turk, turk, headdress. Flak pants. It's poor, so, or no, uh, it's under 50%, so I'm going to sell it. Same thing with the helmet. Uh, same thing with you. Formal shirt, we're going to keep. Top hat. We don't really need top hats anymore. So yeah, you know what? Buy my top hats. Because they're worth a lot of money. Dude, those top hats are worth a lot of money, actually. Maybe I should be making more top hats. Huh. We sell off the sculptures, too. Probably should just keep getting rid of clothes, though. Just because we have way too many. Cloth pants. Poor, poor. Uh, poor, 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 poor. Not great. So pretty poor. You're actually literally poor. You're at 51%. We'll get rid of it. Um, and then tribal wear. Boom. 497. More tribal wear. My God, we have a lot of tribal wear. Tribal wear. <laughs> uh, I think that's everything. You're only at 65%. So we'll sell you. And yeah, so now we're at 760. So there's a lot of things we could get rid of here. Probably don't sell the cloth because we can make something better out well with the cloth. Animals. I have three husky females. Oh my god. I'm gonna sell one of the doggies. And I need to sell just a little bit just to make a little bit more money. Uh, what's something I have a lot of that I can sell just a little bit? Sure. Eh, it's only worth a buck a piece. Not really worth it. So it's 10.28. So uh, actually, hold up. The fully grown dogs are worth more. Yeah. All right, we'll sell that. Wait, wait, wait. Is you bonded? Oh, you're pregnant. Uh. Well, from a pure sales standpoint, we shouldn't sell one that is bonded. Oh, uh, sorry, pregnant. Because we can make more. Yeah, I guess let's just get rid of some of this crap, like fox fur. Too much. There you go. Okay, that is a lot of food and a lot of crap to haul. So, prioritize hauling my potatoes. Uh, potatoes, actually, the meat probably needs gets hauled first needs to get hauled first um brian come haul the meat hermione thrombro's getting that come haul that meat 
We're just going to grab as much of this as possible right now. Yes, yes. Still the potatoes, still a little bit of meat. I mean, there is something really nice about these huskies just going and grabbing everything. I'm not going to complain too much about that. Also, uh, we got two new animals. So switch over to animals. Our bull and cow, we're going to want them in... Uh, no, no, bison. So hopefully they can get me some babies. I would like some babies. Some baby cows. Okay, and then it all got hauled. All right, so that should fix our food issue until the corn comes because the corn's pretty close now. 70%, so we probably are, what, like two or three days away. So, okay. So, where are we at now? We got to build some more traps. Other than that, we're pretty freaking good. Um, I think... I think... We're going to build a couple more autocannon turrets. Six components. We're good on components. We're going to need to ruin this wall. Which, wondering why there's a wall there now? Oh, you know why I have a wall there? Because we did a roof. Hmm. Because this is all roofed, right? It says it's outdoors, but I'm pretty sure we have a roof there. Think so? Uh, roof area. We built a roof area there. Now the question is, do we actually have a roof area? I don't know. I don't know. But I would not mind building a roof area here. You know, kind of the same but opposite. I need granite, man. Dang it. <sighs> what we'll probably end up doing is like leaving like a pillar. Like maybe like right here. Because that one should be like... Choo. And you should be like, Too. so then probably leave that one. Then deconstruct like you. Then something like. And then probably put another wall here. I think that'll keep my roof. I should keep my roof, especially with that there. I think that'll work. I don't know. We'll see. That'll give me a little bit more granite too. And we're going to go ahead and, like, try building a wall through here. Just so I can roof that. I mean, I really don't actually need to roof that now that I say that. Nah, there's no reason to waste the marble. The only reason I would want that is maybe to have a fallback position. Funnel them through another fallback position, but, yeah, probably not. Where's my back door? So, if... Like, this goes to hell here. We can always just, like, run our troops through this way and then escape out here and, like, run away. Worst case scenario. We have to abandon our base. I mean, the thing is, if we have to abandon our base, we're still going to be fine. You know, until we get raided over in the new base. Because, <laughs> you know, we won't have a lot of stuff with us. Food will probably be the biggest issue. We just load up all our animals with food, right? <laughs> If there's ever an attack where it looks like things are going to get really bad, maybe that's what we do. Just, like, load up a caravan and get, like, as much food on animals as possible and then just get the heck out of Dodge. While, like, maybe even leaving a couple people behind to, like, hold the line. I don't know. Now, ideally, and I don't think that will actually be a thing or something we have to worry about because we're pretty well defended here. Ooh, rhinos. Hello. I mean, yeah, I'm not really worried at all. Oh, we're not hunting, Brian, because we killed everything. Now, I don't really want to hit the rhinos, and I kind of would rather not hit the muffalo, but we're going to go hunt the muffalo. It's only a 2% chance. Odds are we'll be fine. What are the chances that we get hit? Well, 2%. Well, 2% times, what, 20 or whatever. Oh, yeah, you know, I forgot I was growing food over here, too. Oh, yeah, we're totally okay, then. Yeah, we're totally okay. This could have been hay, then. Yeah. Oh, well, it's fine. It's fine. So, we're going to get a lot of food here in a minute. That's good. Probably don't need this, either, but, like, we might as well keep it going. Uh, this actually seems like a good time, then, to switch Brian over to uh, plant cunning. 
just for the time being. I think he does that. I don't think that's considered dumb work. Sure, that's not really the plants I want at this point, but... There you go. <laughs> uh, fine, go cut your freaking, you know, drugs, buddy. You have a problem, Brian, man. You have a problem. Now, how much power do these use? 150 watts. So that's going to be 450. We should have more than enough to hold it. Mm-hmm. Look, I don't think we need to uh, turn them off. And I mean, we could switch this off. No, they're still powered because of this, I think. Yeah, I don't think there was any way to shut these off anymore, which is fine. There is a way probably to shut just these off if we wanted to. Yeah, like we could always rerun lines here and then just have this like dead end, but I'm not going to worry about it. They're only 150 a pop. So they're not that bad. Now, are they going to hit our people? I don't know. Also, too, with these walls here, I don't know what the accuracy is on this. I'm not sure how efficient they're going to be. So we'll just have to wait till the next raid to see if they're even worth it. These guys over here, definitely. These guys, eh, maybe, 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 maybe. So, still really just waiting to get some jobs done here. Did we finish more marine armor? Yes, we did. Because it's not there anymore. Did someone wear it? Not that I can see. So, theoretically, yeah, there it is. So, it should be there. Who is next most needed? I think I'll give it to Tamara. Yeah, because uh, Hermione already has the flak jacket on. And I was going to say Hermione's next. I just don't want to go through the habit of, like, swapping. I could give it to Logan, too. Logan is close range, but... I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it to Tamara. She deserves it after that last fight, man. So she's going to be basically almost impossible to hit. Which is going to be kind of awesome. Between the iron skin gland and then the marine armor, it's going to be like, let's go. Attack me, punks. All right, hey, Tamara, go wear the marine armor, please. Wonder if there's a way to actually see her. Yeah, so she has 128% production, uh, protection against sharp. Uh, only 60 against blunt, 94 against heat. So, like, she can get, like, blunt damage, which will happen, but that's not, like, They'll die, necessarily. They won't bleed to death. She's basically almost immune to sharp damage now, which is great. Compare that to, let's just look at, like, Hermione here. Hermione's at 123. Interesting. So you're up 40% with that. This is 106%. Well, it seems like... I'm going to let her finish eating. It didn't actually help. Hey, drop your marine armor real quick. Yeah, okay. No, it made a pretty big difference. It went from 64. I'm just wondering why uh, Hermione has so much more. I mean, I guess she also has the flak vest, too. Which is 115%. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's why. I think that's why it was the flak vest. Okay, that works. That works. That works for now. Yeah, so she's fairly protected then. Uh, so then if we looked here, you're only at 85, Greg. You're at 69, or Logan. Greg is in a significantly worse spot. These guys are all above 100 right now. Yes, please. Yes, please. Strict bear. Stork is in a very bad spot. Colonel Tiberto. Okay. Some of the newer guys I don't care as much about. You know, obviously. Trying to, like, give it to, you know, the people who have been around a while. 
Tamara has been putting her life on the line here, like, because she's been frontline troop forever. So, you know, even though she's one of the newer ones, I'm okay supporting her. Psychic Sooth, female, nice. Hey, buddy, you gonna go lay down? You gonna go, no, you're gonna go get drugs. Oi, these people, man, these people. <laughs> Stop doing drugs and get healed, man. Uh, how are you doing, by the way, with the blood rot? You have, like, none of it, so we're good. Um, okay. Gonna need someone to heal him. He's at 0.9. It's actually taken up quite a bit. Quite a bit. Hello, people. Brian's coming. Yeah, that takes up pretty quick here. Back to zero, please. Yeah, I'll take back to zero. So, yeah, essentially, you just gotta get it healed within the day or whatever. When are they leaving? Because they're kind of annoying. Uh, shuttle arrives in 19 hours. Nice. And their mood's been 71%. Nice. Uh, and we'll get goodwill if they're above 50. Nice. Except we're already at 97%, so a little bit more doesn't really help me. Less nice. Okay. Anyways, there is my stuff so we can get some stuff. Um, yeah. I know what I said. Uh, Jeff Bison. Granite Spike Trap. Okay. As long as you didn't get stabbed, that's all I really care about. Kind of don't really want you working on the spike traps because I don't trust you're not going to get stabbed, but whatever. That's fine. The psychic smooth is also going to raise her mood too. You're a guy though, right? Yeah, you're a guy. That's fine. What's going on over here? I'm not entirely sure. You're finishing advanced components. Uh, someone was working on charge rifle, were they not? Could have sworn someone was working on that charge rifle first. I did not see one, so I don't think that's what happened then. Yep, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. So, if we notice one thing, it's we have too many shotguns. <laughs> uh, is it time for Logan to get upgraded? I mean, Greg's kind of hot trash with this weapon. I mean, the shotgun's so good at close range. Hmm... I mean, honestly, the SMG might just not be worth it now. 12 compared to, I think, what it is, 15? I mean, the thing is, it's not that bad. Penetration, though, at 13% is the problem. It doesn't penetrate armor. So that's the biggest issue. Dude, that sword looks so freaking cool. Because I bet this actually... That's a legendary one. I probably don't want to ditch that one. Yeah, see, you're at 22%. The problem is, you know, it's only at close quarters. I don't know. We need another sniper. Armor penetration is 38. So if he hits... You know what? I'm going to give it to Park. Now, this is going to be maybe a slight downgrade. Because remember, he has a legendary... Uh, he has a masterwork minigun. But, keep in mind, we don't need a good shooter with the minigun. Maybe give it to Bended. But see, Bended's great. Like, he's got the a shooting accuracy. He just can't ever hit anything. Ugh. There's a whole nother issue. So I'm gonna have to give this then to someone else. I don't want to give it to Benden. Just waiting until someone wakes up. Could give it to Emily. I mean, it's 100% better than what she's got. She's okay at shooting. You know what? I could give it to Brian. Because I'm just using another, just a normal LMG. Which isn't really great. Because I'm not the most accurate shooter. It's only 13%. And it's only, it's a 6 burst, which isn't terrible. But, eh, I got 7 shoot. I think I'm going to give it to Brian. Yeah. By the way, how is how are these? Good, normal, good. Okay. I'm not really interested in putting them anywhere. We could. But like most of our rooms are super impressive. Well, I say that. I'll throw both of these in here then. Make my hospital a little more impressive. Not that we need it, but you know, hey, whatever. Uh, we could also put in bedrooms to make people even happier. I mean, they're at like 40s. I don't know. 
I don't know. Fine, we'll just throw them in bedrooms and be done with it and make people happy. There you go. Uh, okay, so we're waiting for Brian to get up because we're going to go switch to the masterwork. What was Roxy's weapon? Was this a masterwork too? Yeah, hers was masterwork as well. Brian is cutting grass. Before you go do that, go grab a minigun, please. Thank you. And we should be doing something here. It's going to be strict, correct? Yeah, he's my inventor. He's smoking. Smoke leaf. Whatever, whatever, whatever. That should be what Bendon's basically doing exclusively, is like making smoke leaf and making medicine. Question is, I don't think we have any more Nutramine, which you can only buy, correct? And I don't, no, we still have a lot of joints. So Bendon can be doing that. Making charge rifle. We have just enough for a charge rifle. Okay, that's exactly what we're looking for. If we had enough for a charge rifle, then fine. Meteorite, slate. Eh, don't really care about slate. We don't have any slate, so like starting it and making some slate, not really worth it. We still haven't repaired the wall yet. Fine for now. Okay, I think we're going to wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. So probably what we're going to end up doing is getting our food in here. Once we get our food going, we might go ahead then and start looking at getting potentially the final boss, the final fight. Now, I don't know. See, the question is how much attacks are we going to actually face here? 12 days. And you can ride the shuttle to the Imperial Flotilla. You may then join the court or escape to a new life. Uh, may take years to finally achieve the t a title count. Yes. Keep his mood above 25%. We'll have to give him a lavish bedroom. That's fine. So we'll have to uh, give him a nice bedroom first. Others will take the opportunity to try and kill him and will attack with great intensity. We'll bring four personal guards. You must keep the visitors and not send them anywhere else. You'll have another chance if you fail. I don't think it's going to be... I mean, well, it's a three-star, but we've already taken on some... I said a four-star. Have we done a four-star one? No, we've not done a four-star one, so that one's technically going to be harder than we fought. Yay. Yay. Goodbye. Sweet. Okay, so what do we get? Resurrector Mech Serum. Oh, I forgot about that. Is that all we got? I mean, still, that's great. So if someone dies, we can bring them back to life. Okay, cool. Awesome. So there's another quest done. But anyways, like I said, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.